I think we've all had the experience of losing something we love. Maybe somewhere along the way you lost a pet, a pet ran away, or maybe it passed away, or maybe you've lost a job, or maybe you've lost a loved one. Well, when I was in fifth grade, part of my story is I lost my mother. My mother passed away when I was a kid, and one of the experiences I had when I lost my mother is I'll never forget what people said to me as a fifth grade boy. They said things like, Hans, one day you might understand this, that this was somehow all part of God's plan. Uh, people also said to me, Hans, maybe one day you'll understand that, that God just needed another angel. And I remember having this feeling deep inside that if that's how God works, I don't want anything to do with this God of yours. I want to suggest today that all of us have had that experience where we've said to ourselves, if that's how God works, I don't want anything to do with that God. You see, I think we've all had this experience of stumbling through a valley, stumbling through the dark in life, when, when hard times have hit or we've lost something that we love, and it's just so doggone difficult to see the light, to see any kind of hope. It's in those moments where there's sort of this disconnect, this disconnect between the hope-filled message that we've come to understand is the message of our faith and what we actually experience around us. Maybe for some of you, this time of COVID has been a similar experience where on the one hand, you know we have a God of hope and love and yet, and yet we're isolated and yet there's this pandemic. Well, folks, there was a, a prophet way back when, some 2,600 years ago, by the name of Habakkuk. And Habakkuk knew exactly what we experience. You see, Habakkuk, in the book, with the same name in the Old Testament, writes all about, he finds himself in this experience where he's going, God, where are you? If you're really out there, God, where are you? His people, the Israelites, had experienced wave after wave of uh, uh, folks rolling in, armies rolling in, first the Assyrians, then the Babylonians, rolling in and seeking to take over. And in the midst of all of that, Habakkuk goes, God, where are you? In fact, in the first chapter of Habakkuk, he writes these words, How long, Lord, must I call for help, but you do not listen, or cry out to you violence, but you do not save us? Why do you make me look at injustice? Why do you tolerate wrongdoing? Destruction and violence are before me. There is strife and conflict abounds. It's as if he was asking that question, God, if you're out there, where in the world are you? I pray every day, but you never seem to hear me. We worship you, God, but it seems like you, you don't care about us. We do everything you ask, but you let our enemies get away with murder. I think people like you and me know a little bit of what that's like. We know what it's like to go, God, where are you? You see, this week, we're going to ask a question, something like this. When do, when do each of us find it difficult to see God's light in the midst of our everyday walk? When do you find yourself stumbling through the valley and wondering, God, where are you? We struggle to find the hope some days. And so this week, what we want to do is we want to talk about those moments when we throw our hands in the air. We go, where are you, God? We find ourselves stumbling, stumbling, looking for hope. And here's what we're going to find. Folks, here's what we're going to find every time when we delve deeply into our tradition of faith. It's this. When we stumble through the dark, God is closer. God is closer than we ever, ever imagined. In one of my favorite passages, Romans chapter 8, it says this. Nothing, nothing at all, nothing will ever separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus, our Lord. So folks, if you know of someone who's going through a dark period, they're, they're maybe asking that question inside or out loud, God, where are 
you, would you invite them to watch the Daily Dose with you this week? And if you're watching on Facebook, would you share this post, like it, help us get the word out. If you're watching on YouTube, hit the notifications. And if you're watching at home, how about inviting a friend to watch with you tomorrow? Folks, have a great night. into your wonder I forget about the world and all the mysteries that surround me I remember what you that you say It's already in my head.